Until very recently, our best and brightest scientists and physicians believed that the adult brain couldn't change. Our brain circuits were formed and finalized in childhood. Now we discover that the brain is plastic, meaning changeable. But not all change is good. That changing brain can actually do us harm. Obsessive compulsive disorder, post-traumatic stress disorder, and even schizophrenia. But the mind can harness the damaged brain's plasticity to change itself. And now we are finding new treatments for mental diseases and disorders once thought incurable. When you would tell people, hey, this is your brain sending you a false message, it would help them. We might actually change the whole course, the whole trajectory of, of someone's life. This is medicine. This has outcomes that are medical. It changes brains physically. It changes them chemically. It changes them functionally. We do not yet see uh, where, where the limits will be. It's, it's, uh, it's, they are still big new surprises. My name is Dr. Norman Deutsch, and I wrote a book called The Brain That Changes Itself. The discovery of neuroplasticity is the discovery that our brains can change their structure and function through mental experience alone. It signals the most important change in our understanding of the brain in 400 years, because for 400 years, we thought of the brain as though it were like a machine with parts, and that view of the machine-like brain gave rise to a neurological fatalism, because it meant people who were born with brain damage or who sustained brain damage as they developed were condemned to live with it, because machines do many glorious things, but they don't grow new parts, and they can't reorganize themselves. All of us have worries. We worry because we are intelligent creatures. The same intelligence that allows us to plan, imagine, hypothesize, also allows us to anticipate negative outcomes. There are many kinds of worriers, but among those who suffer the most are people with obsessive compulsive disorder, or OCD. Their problem, though all in the head, goes far beyond what others might experience precisely because it's in the head and therefore inescapable. It's a disorder that can often be treated by understanding neuroplasticity. <laughs>